goiter, a chocolate school supply cup, and a milkshake in a tie? Did the entire school actually go mad? No, we have just sneaked sweets into class. Mr. Sebastian is wearing a weird tie today. Is this actually a new trend in fashion? He's definitely hiding something. Sebastian tries to distract the students with studying so that they don't suspect anything. And meanwhile, he carefully adjusts the knot on the tie and drinks his favorite chocolate milk. Cover a plastic shirt collar bend with yellow velour. Cut off the excess and sew it. Fasten a tie from a collapsible plastic vase. Use double-sided tape. Iron it through parchment paper. Hot glue the top halfway. Attach the tie to the base. Wrap it with fabric and sew it. Put a flexible tube into the hole. Pour in your drink through a funnel. And when Sebastian finishes the cocktail, he takes off the tie. He doesn't need this item of clothing anymore. Miss Smith doesn't like that the girls are more interested in taking photos than in studying. The amount of likes doesn't influence their grade. They need to do something nice for Miss Smith immediately. We have a nice pointer just for that. Cut chewy candies and connect them to make one long candy. Wrap a chopstick with it and even out the layer. Apply food glitter on top. It's not a good idea to approach Miss Smith when she's mad. She destroys everything in her path. She even breaks the pointer. But now she understands that this is not a regular pointer. The girls made a sweet present for her. Candies calm Miss Smith down. Her mood gets better after every piece of the pointer. She turns into a kind teacher. And this means that they are free to take unlimited selfies. Dolly has read too many comic books for sure. Does she think that she's Wolverine? No way! She just has new markers, and they are not regular. They come with a surprise. Pour candies out of their tubes. Cut the tube to be of the same size as a marker. Make a plug from chewy candy. Paint the tube with acrylic paint and put the candies inside. Cover the tube with a marker cap. Make a few markers of different colors. These markers have a secret superpower. They turn into sweets. Dolly has an entire team of them. Every marker stores candies. Jessica is keeping up too. Her exquisite school supply cup is any sweet tooth's dream. Melt dark chocolate in a double boiler. Spread the chocolate evenly inside a paper cup. Put it into a freezer. Remove the paper cup when the chocolate hardens. Cover the chocolate cup with honey and attach icing lace. The cup is so chocolatey that Jessica can't resist biting it right in class. This cup is perfect for storing the sweet markers. It's a match made in heaven. Dolly also bites off a piece of the cup. Well, it's unlikely that it will last till the end of the school day. We have a clay sculpture class. You can make any food from light clay. Dolly is disappointed. She's gotten hungry and can't be satisfied by clay food. But Jessica has a lot of fun with her clay. She made a red pepper and she bravely bites it off. What is her secret? Melt chewy candies in a microwave. Mix them so that the texture is even. Add a drop of food coloring and put it into a Ziploc bag. Make bags with candies of different colors. It's easy. It turns out that Jessica's clay is edible. It's made from stretchy candies. She gives some of the sweet clay to Dolly and sculpture class becomes way more delicious right away. Dolly hands in her notebooks to be checked. Sebastian finds handmade bookmarks inside. So cute. His mom made the same one but it's edible. What a coincidence. Dolly's bookmark is made according to the same recipe. Cut wafer paper into strips. 
color them with food markers or sprinkle them with food paint. Sebastian crunches on a bookmark and checks the homework. Chewing must make his brain work better. The girls have nailed their homework and deserve the highest grades. So they get a present from their teacher as a bonus. Sebastian is kind enough to give them a few markers. Happy Dolly goes back to her desk. She wants to cheer Jessica up. We've got good grades and funny markers. One of the markers turns out to have a sweet surprise inside. Take the wadding out of a marker. Clean the body. Put in a foil plug and add candies. Sweet candies fall out of the marker. The teacher knows a lot about his students. He knows that candies are the best reward for them. Now the girls will work even harder. The girls turn to different tricks to make their class more fun. They have brought a sweet cash to the school today. It's a jewelry box, but there are some precious sweets inside instead of jewelry. Cut out the pages of a notebook. Cover the cuts with paper strips. Hot glue pieces of cardboard to the top and bottom of the cutout part to make a pocket. Make a box out of cardboard so that it's of the same size as the pocket. Attach a ribbon loop. Put the box into the jewelry case. There are delicious candies hidden in our notebook stash. But Miss Smith is already on guard. She takes away all the candies. Still, the girls don't get sad. The best part is that they still have the magical jewelry box. And it means that they won't run out of candies. Jessica needs a triangle ruler. She is using everything that could possibly have angles. But the drawing is still not perfect. And meanwhile, Redhead crunches on her wafer, which is perfectly shaped. Take one layer off a big wafer. Cover it with filling. Cut a triangle out of wafer paper. Attach it to the wafer and cut off the excess. Draw hatch marks with a food marker so that it looks like a ruler. Jessica hears the crunch of geometry right near her. This is exactly what she needs. The triangular ruler is made from wafers, but it's still even. You can make a flawless angle with it. The most important thing is to not cover your notebook with crumbs. Sebastian's gotten hungry. There is nothing on his desk but chalk. Well, you can't fill up on this mineral. Sebastian finds a supply of candies in Miss Smith's stash. What if we combine chalk and candies? A brilliant idea! Put white sugar candies of the suitable shape into a Ziploc bag and put them into an empty chalk box. Now Sebastian can easily gnaw on some chalk. And the best part is that no one will suspect that there are candies hidden inside. And his students will think that poor Sebastian is out of his mind. But it doesn't matter because he managed to have a snack. Dolly has a delicious Toblerone. But school rules don't allow any food in class. You have to act carefully. We will hide it in a notebook. No, it's beyond the margin. Maybe we can put it into a cup? Now it looks like the peak of a mountain. We need to come up with a different option. Jessica's love for geometry isn't in vain. She has a triangular solution. Take an empty triangular pencil box. Print out an image of pencils and attach them to the window of the box. Put a Toblerone inside. A triangular box is perfect for the chocolate. Now we shouldn't be afraid of the teacher's angry look. The Toblerone works undercover like a real spy. The teacher sees nothing but a box of pencils. Jessica's paper plane is very flimsy. It was damaged during an attack in world history class. We need to fix its landing gear right now. Dolly lends her some tape, but she forgets about the most important thing. This tape is actually a candy case. Cover the inside of a double-sided tape roll with regular tape. Cover it with honey and attach jelly candy belts. Jessica finds out the second function of the tape. 
Dolly understands that her sweet stash was uncovered when she hears some chewing sounds. She needs to take it back before Jessica finishes everything. She leaves only the sticky tape for her friend. The plane repair was a success. The friends have such huge creative potential. They paint modern pictures. And when the masterpiece is done, they pamper themselves. Let's eat a few paints as a snack. Cut circles out of gold cardboard from chocolate so that they fit the cells on a paint palette. Put the circles into the palette. Melt marshmallows in a microwave. Add soft butter and powdered sugar. Shape the mass into little balls. Add food coloring into each. Fill the palette. Press the balls to shape them like paints. You can paint not only a landscape with these paints, but also your tongue. Now that's what we call body art. A colorful mood is guaranteed. Jessica has a special art product hidden for the final touch. This is a contour paste with a chocolate shade. Cut an empty writing icing tube and clean it thoroughly. Fill it with Nutella. Fasten it with hot glue. Cover the tube with acrylic paint. Print out a contour paste label that says Nutella and attach it. Jessica adds her writing gel to her friend's painting. Now Dolly's art smells like chocolate. This class is so boring, but if you have a pencil case with a sweet secret, then you will quickly become interested in studying. Put candies and school supplies into a pencil case. Add a logo. Dolly suggests having a sweet snack. You can find all your favorite chocolates for a school picnic in her pencil case. Dolly munches so loudly that the teacher comes up. We just happen to have the last chocolate left to please him. Help yourself, Sebastian. Take a sweet break from your teaching career. Did you like our sweet ideas? Then write in the comments how you will sneak your favorite candies into class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new school life hacks on Troom Troom.